This is a question I get all the time. How do I stop my avocado tree being so tall and skinny? You might have had an avocado tree grow to be a little bit like this. It's so tall, it's barely fitting in frame. It might not have that many roots, but it's grown an extremely tall trunk with its leaves concentrated at the top. It's extremely flimsy, it's very top heavy. Is there something we can do about it? Is it even a problem? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about all things tall and lanky trees. But before we can prevent this kind of growth, we first need to talk about how avocado trees grow. Well, in the wild, avocados grow in groves. There will be many avocado trees growing closely together. Naturally, they grow quite densely with each other. This provides fantastic protection from the sun and the wind, which avocado trees love, but it does create some competition for sunlight. Photosynthesis requires sunlight. For an, a plant to grow, it needs sunlight. And if there's not a lot of sunlight because of how tightly packed the trees are, that's going to cause problems. There isn't a lot of light by the ground in a grove. It's all quite shady and sheltered. And that can be a problem for young trees who need energy to be able to grow. Avocados and many other plants, trees especially, will prioritize finding adequate light. And if that means getting taller, they will let growing new leaves be delayed and try and get as tall of the stem as it can. So they make less leaves and instead spend that energy on creating a longer stem. The plant's goal is to extend its stem so that it may find enough light to be able to adequately photosynthesize to support the rest of the tree. If you have a tree that looks like this one where it's got a long stem and not very many leaves, there's a chance that you might not be giving your avocado tree enough light. I found it's actually quite challenging to grow avocado trees indoors. We know that they don't love direct light, but that's when we're talking about trees growing outside. They don't like full sun all day. They'll get sunburned and you can check out my video about avocado sunburn. There's a link in the description below. But inside, they're still trees and they need a lot of light. And if you haven't given them enough light, they're going to be searching for light. I've seen many pictures from my subscribers of trees which are a number of years old that have continued to grow a single trunk, not many leaves. The soil's all good, but the tree is hunting for light. Avocados, I find, are happiest outdoors when you're able to provide them with a warm enough and sheltered enough position. But indoors, if that's your only option, you need to be giving avocados essentially as much light as you can. The sunniest spot in your house is probably going to be enough light for growing your avocado trees. It doesn't like medium light, they don't like low light. They need high light when kept indoors. And if you're keeping them outdoors, they need a position which receives some direct light, but mostly partially shaded. But there is another reason why avocados may grow tall and lanky. And we saw this in the avocado lagoon. The trees here had access to bright light and we still had fairly tall and lanky growth. Though perhaps the leaves were bigger and there were more than we're seeing on this tree here. So the trees had adequate light. So why were they still growing tall and spindly? Avocados are quite apically dominant, especially in younger trees. And what I mean by apically dominant is where the growth comes from. Plants produce new tissue from the meristematic zones. And meristematic zones are in different parts of the plant and they're just the parts that are responsible for producing new tissue, new cells. In trees, the primary meristems are at the tops of trunks or at the ends of branches, right at the very tip. The apex zones of a plant, which is why we call these areas the apical meristems, because they're at right at the tip of a plant. Generally speaking, without intervention, young avocado trees will purely get taller in their first year of life. Is this a problem? Well, not really, but 
they're not going to be putting out any branches and they're not going to be putting out a bunch of leaves as well. And more leaves means more ability to photosynthesize. So it's beneficial for us keeping avocados domestically to be able to give them as many leaves as they can. And we can do that by pruning. My preference is to intervene and prune my young avocado trees once they're about 30 centimeters in height to encourage branching and more leaves. I've spoken at length a number of times on this channel, there are some links in the description below about why I love to prune. But in summary, before you prune, all of the growth that the tree's doing, most of it anyway, is coming right from the tip. So it's just going to keep getting taller. By pruning it just above one of the nodes, you're stopping it from using that meristem and it needs to make more. Where do the other ones come from? It pushes new branches out of the nodes. Some of the new growth may take the place of the main stem, some of them may become branches. And in fact, I recently pruned my trees in the avocado lagoon and some of the new growth has become new main trunks and some of it has become branches. We're seeing many more leaves than we had before pruning though. So young trees will typically be fairly tall and slender, but pruning can encourage them to grow branches and more leaves if given adequate lighting conditions. Bright light indoors is required or partially shaded light outside for healthy avocado trees. If an avocado tree doesn't get enough light, it will continue to grow slenderly in order to try and find light in order to survive. If you have pruned your avocado tree, it's more than a year old and it's still quite tall and slender, there's a good chance that you're not giving it enough light. Move it to a sunnier spot within your home or if you're able to, move it into a partially shaded sheltered spot outside where it has access to more light. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it and you came away with some solutions to try and solve your lanky avocado tree problems. If you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, I'd love it if you could leave a comment and a like on your way out. Make sure you're subscribed to Scott Burroughs and Avocado Tree for more avocado care tips and just general avocado content. I'm also on Instagram at Scott Burroughs and Avocado Tree. And if you enjoy my video, generally you can find me on my new channel that's pretty cool there's a link at the end of this video and then in the description below I talk about all sorts of things which I find interesting and hopefully impart upon you a sense of wonder about some things that I just think are pretty cool thanks once again for watching take care and we'll see you next time Scott grows an avocado tree Scott Grows an avocado tree, Scott grows an avocado tree, Scott grows an avocado tree.